Hey, welcome back. It's TrueScore Gaming. This is going to be another quick start guide, this time for a hard mode. Get ready to the real challenge. This is a special game mode for the players who have enough experience and wish their skills in logistics and driving to be tested even further. Note that you may face an unsolvable situation and may have to restart the whole game. That sounds pretty daunting. In hard mode, the rules of the game are very different. You have to pay for your fuel and repairs. You have to pay for your vehicle deployment. You have to pay for your vehicle recovery. You have to pay, 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 basically. You're not able to sell your trailers and semis. You can sell your trucks and equipment, but for half its price. Contests are restricted to the number of tries you make so that you can't farm them. And you have to search for the facilities with the cargo you need by yourself. All right, well, all of that sounds pretty difficult, but I'm excited to put all of my SnowRunner experience and knowledge to the test, so let's get started. Hard mode is a part of Phase 4, which will be released on or before May 18th, so it's coming up quick. I've been playing it over on the test server and have enjoyed it enough that I might consider doing a hard mode series when it finally goes live. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in tuning into. As you can see, the tutorial is skipped and you can start off at the Black River Garage with the Chevy CK1500 pickup fully stock. If you've played the game before, you know that the Fleet Star is right around the corner and is in a broken down state and in need of repair. You could winch it over and move it to the garage, but then you'd end up having to pay repair fees, which is something you want to avoid. You'll need to save up every penny. So the best way is to winch the service trailer over to the truck to make the repair for free and picking up the engageable all-wheel drive upgrade for the Fleet Star in the process. Now that your first truck is fully repaired, you'll need fuel. Go ahead and take it from the pickup truck for now. Before we head out in our search for fuel, it's always a good idea to check for a task or contract that can be completed in the area or on the way to where you are going. In this case, farming tools is a good example. Before you leave the garage, there's a trailer that just needs to be dropped off at the farm, which is on the way over to town. Make a right out of the farm and just down the road at the very next property on the left, you'll find a fuel tanker. There are fuel tankers on some maps which, if they aren't total freebies, may be required for tasks or contracts, but that doesn't mean you can't siphon any fuel from them before turning them in. I ended up setting up the service and fuel trailers near the exit of my garage in the event I ever need to recover a vehicle. Jump in your scout vehicle and pick up upgrades for your trucks. There are three upgrades for the Fleet Star located in Black River, so be sure to upgrade the suspension, engine, and all-wheel drive. These will make a huge difference. The upgrades are free to install after you pick them up, and you can sell the components they are replacing for some extra cash. Now that fuel and repairs are covered, and the Fleet Star has some upgrades, it's time to make some money. The first thing I went to check on is the contest at the farm. It's available right away, but you are limited to three attempts, so hopefully you got your practice in on normal mode. In order to even attempt the contest, we will need to repair the bridge on the other end, which I already know requires wooden planks. If you remember back to the tutorial, you know there's a trailer with wooden planks near the lumber mill that we used to repair the main bridge to the garage, but since we don't have to worry about that in hard mode, we will gladly use those wooden planks to repair the bridge for the contest. You'll also notice there's another fuel trailer along the way. Once you make it to the bridge and make the repairs, you'll now be able to do the contest. Successfully completing three attempts of the contest will net you over 10,000 credits. As you begin to work on tasks and contracts, you may want to avoid the fees for auto-loading material. To cut those costs, you'll need to purchase a loading crane, 
But before we get into all that, it's worth mentioning that the Fleet Star is one of those trucks that allows a sideboard bed plus crane, and you can tow a trailer behind that setup. To make use of that setup from the very start, rather than purchasing a sideboard bed, which costs over 5,000 credits, I would recommend unlocking the GMC, which is also located in Black River and comes with a sideboard bed. You can then uninstall that from that truck and equip it to the Fleet Star. From here it's up to you. You can continue completing tasks and making money until you have enough to purchase the vehicles you want, or even mods. Yes, mods are allowed in hard mode. You can also deploy a vehicle to any region. That'll cost you 3500 credits to do so, so wait until you are ready. If you're looking for spare vehicles to deploy to other regions, there's a duplicate Chevy 1500 pickup in Smithville Dam you can unlock for free. The same goes for the Tuz 420, which is unlocked in the Tamir region. You can find one in Zimnogorsk and another in Rift. I have other quick start guides which you might find helpful. For example, I made one for the GMC MH9500 if you want to use that instead of the Fleet Star. I also have one for the Ankh MK38 for starting off in Alaska and the Tega 6436 if you want to start off in Tamir. Visit my channel and give those a look when you have time. I hope you found this video helpful, if so be sure to hit that like button and subscribe today if you're not a member so that you never miss a video. I leave you with a short clip of some game footage from Cosmodrome which is located in Amor Oblast and will be coming with Phase 4 coming soon. As always, thank you for your support and I'll see you next time.